Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ming, and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I want to do a very quick review of this. Viltrox EF-M2 Mark II Focal Reducer Viltrox is a Chinese company. They make LED lights, lens adapter, focal reducer, and even cinema lenses. This one is the second generation of the Viltrox EF-M lens adapter. So the first generation is the adapter, and this one is the focal reducer and adapter. This particular one cost me 108 US dollars. I believe it's still this price on the market. It comes with a paper box with forms inside to protect it. It's not like it's last generation which come with a very nice plastic sift box. So in this video I'm not gonna explain how a focal reducer works. I will just talk about the build quality and image quality of it and I will give you some examples. Okay, first, the build quality of it is fairly good. It is a little bit loose in both side of the mount but nothing to be worried the body is full metal there is the optical element inside here it has a six group four element design and this part actually can be removed from the body but you can't use it without the glass it just won't work because of the incorrect flange distance here is the micro USB port for the firmware update and it is quite useful. I just updated this one for the BMPCC4K iris control supporting. It has a quarter inch mount on the bottom and you can remove this part if you want. Okay, now let's talk about image quality. As an adapter with optical element, how much will it affect the image quality well quite a lot in a bad way first is the infinity focus when I just got this one it just can't reach the infinity focus even the focus distance mark on the lens is already there so I tried to move this part the glass and it works you just need to try multiple times to make sure it it will reach the infinity focus so i think it won't be a very big problem the second problem is the blurriness it brings you in some other comparison videos you can see a 600 dollars metabones speed booster can provide a much sharper image but this one i'll do some demos for you then you can have your own judgment As you can see with the Sigma 18-35 f1.8 at a wide open aperture, the image is very blurry. It's not usable for any serious work in my opinion. And it gets better as you lower the aperture stop. The image will be usable at f1.8, but during the night or in the low light situation, I will shoot at f1.2 anyway, instead of raise the ISO. With the Tamron 24-70 f2.8, the image is much sharper, but it gives you less shallow depth of the field.
Okay, I hope this footage can help you out. Well, I get it. If you want me to say it for you, then just get this one if you can't afford a mat bones. It does have a lot of counts, but the price is so good. As long as you don't shoot a lot at f1.2, this one is good. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here's the video for today. Thanks for joining me. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Or if you want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing. I'll see you next time. Bye.